Are we recording? I think we are. We are. And you know what that means, Brick Maniacs. What it's time mean? for another episode of Brick Mania TV. Here we are with the Vostok, right? What is this thing called? The Vostok One, the yes, first sure. one. Yes. Cool. Let's get some. Let's, let's I don't know some if history. A, a little bit I don't of history. Think there was a Vostok Twenty Three or Vostok anything, Twenty Three. Vostok One. Cool. Um, yeah. Uh, this uh, little chap right here. This chap. This Russian cosmonaut. Um, not this one, but the real guy. His name was Yuri Gagarin. Mm-hmm. Hopefully I'm saying that right, correctly. Um, let's get go. Oh. He was the first man to orbit space. That was pretty cool. 1961, orbit space. Orbit the Earth. <laughs> he orbited space <laughs> in 19 Kapikati 1. We got these big orbit. bulging eyes from the cameraman. He's like, what? He orbited space? Ooh, it's a huge orbit. The flight only took 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 million years later. Yeah. Um, so that okay. was pretty cool. There, there was the big <laughs> space race, you know, who's going to get to space first, who's going to orbit first. Okay. The Russians got to it first. There we go. Um, yeah, and then uh, he later uh, went on to, I think that was his only space flight. He went on to become the, uh, like the head trainer of the cosmonaut program. And then I think in 1968, he was in a MiG-15, a trainer or something, and it crashed and mm -hmm. he died. Mm -hmm. um, but he will forever be known as first man first to orbit Earth. <laughs> yes. There we go. Yeah. Here we go. Um, that's it. Yeah, the, that's it. That's the, that's the history. That's right? the person. The rocket, the rocket. is the... Uh, the R7 family, you had the, uh, the original rocket was an ICBM uh, intercontinental ballistic, ballistic missile. missile. It was made for sending nuclear missiles across the world to, you know, other countries. So it could go through space and then re-enter Earth's atmosphere and then land wherever they wanted it to go. But in this case, instead of having a nuclear warhead, um, they decided to Put a, put a person, person on the top <laughs> and send him into Aww. space. Yeah. So um, the this rocket system um, is actually still used today. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So the Soyuz uh, rockets that they still send today, even uh, today they, um, the U.S., uh, the NASA program has kind of been falling off the wayside. If they want to send something up to space, they probably still use the Soyuz. Um, there we go. Uh, Rocket, you know, conjunction with the Russians and Chinese. Anyway, uh, this is it. This is it. This this is a crazy build. Like you got some some a little bit sloping going on. Uh, there's nothing straight or flat about this. <laughs> it's a complicated model. This was uh, a little bit, a lot of bit, yeah. <laughs> a challenge to get the rockets coming in and all that without right. going into all this detail of right. how it got built and uh, just basically it was a challenge mm -hmm. um, and I saw it pop up on the list and it's like well maybe Cody will take it maybe Dan will take it <laughs> all right I'll do it <laughs> let's let's do this um, and so the real rockets the booster rockets maybe are a little bit flat on the side so they can hug mm -hmm. the uh, the main rocket a little bit um, in this case um, I had to do a little manipulating on these booster rockets to pull a tile in a little bit to get it right. to hug as tight as possible. And then we just did the best we could with the Lego parts that are available. And um, it is, I tried my builds to make it playable, add some functionality to it. Um, so the, uh, when, when it would come to the launch pad, it would come in a rail car right. and it would it would back in and then back, you know, um, raise you it up. You just got to show it off. So we, yeah, we just did. <laughs> so you could actually display it like this. Um, 
much like the real thing it's uh, held on here, it would be, you know, balanced. It's right. kind of holding, you know, on its own. I mean, it's actually completely I, off, I, off yeah. the ground right here. Um, That's such a cool feature. This is one of the coolest displaying models. Like, the way it's just sitting there is awesome. So. I, I think it's cool. You can display it straight up or you can display it at an angle. Uh, you know, usually you're going to have the other rockets and stuff, which would be straight up. This gives you an opportunity right. to show it off like this. Like, it's mid being propped right. up. And then if you want to prop it up all the way, you know, if this is sitting on your desk, you want to leave it like that, great. Uh, otherwise, get it ready for launch. And there then you, you have your, you know, it's a, a mock-up of a launch pad. Yeah, it's um, simplified, but. Yeah, exactly. Open the arms up and then Cause did the real, pull that away. The real one had uh, three arms or? There are a few more arms. arms. Yeah, there's probably four? four coming around here. And then there's a couple other, you know, added sure. extra things. Uh, elevator to get them up, whatever. But. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we didn't want to make the kit crazy sure. expensive. I mean, if you had this and you wanted to add more arms and stuff, you can do that at sure. home. We, so we wanted to add the basic representation. Um, having the red gives it some nice, you know, color as well. Um, yeah, and then we have the um, separation of as it goes into space, mm -hmm. you can actually take the rockets off and stuff, which uh, I guess we can show. Let's do it. Yeah, uh, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Um, if you want to, I guess. Yeah, why yeah. not? Um, so it is, we say Vostok, but you know, you'll see it um, with a B, Boktok. That's, I guess, how it's written in Russian, mm -hmm. uh, really, I guess it would yeah. say Vostok, and then the CCCP, this would be in the uh, USSR, and yeah. Soviet Russia. So your stages, so take off, and then your booster rockets, these four booster rockets will come off. They would actually, oh, you guys have probably seen it in animation, it's really cool. Uh, the bottoms would pop off, right. but they're clicked on kind of tighter, so when you pick this up, they wouldn't all fall off. Um, and then the top would, uh, also explode and simultaneously they would just, just pull away evenly yeah. and then tumble away. So I'll pull those off, show you what that looks like. Those rockets fall off. Then you have this remaining uh, booster carrying you up into space. And then at some point, this pops off as well. Right. There's your next stage. Then you have your uh, cone yep. will pop off and your panels. Whee. Bam. And you have this continuing on, and Finally, then that here is your actual Vostok uh, space capsule. Yeah. Um, when it would return to Earth, the cosmonaut would actually eject right. out of here, and then these two would separately parachute yeah. separately down. Um, they thought this thing was so heavy, it would probably land with such impact that it's a good chance the cosmonaut wouldn't live. It's safer to violently eject him out of the side. Of I it. mean, it's Russian, <laughs> yeah. so I mean, I that's, may, they might have risked it. That's pretty it. hardcore. That's that's crazy. That's awesome. But uh, <laughs> yeah, and no uh, no sticker sheet on this one. No Everything here is printed. Yeah, this is uh, you get some nice printing. We've never on printed on that here. on that piece before. Um, this is a Lego panel. We weren't going to cut it out, so it kind of represents this window. It kind of represents this. And at launch, if there is a, an emergency or something, the cosmonaut could eject um, right out of there. So this window was open. Uh, this window of print kind of represents that is printed. And then uh, the other printing we have, of course, is the 360 degree yes. cosmonaut, which uh, no. you designed that. You can show that off. Yeah, he's wearing the um, space suit there, the pressure suit. And in that kind of high visibility um, orange, that, that would aid in, I guess, recovery purposes. So sure. like when you're being ejected from a capsule, you probably need to be recovered from somewhere. It would be nice. <laughs> they gotta find you. Um, what other details? Um, on this arm, he's actually got a mirror, so that he can see around. I mean, that's simulated printing here, um, so he can see the different equipment um, in his capsule, and it's just. Like you can't really turn, like turn your head around, you know. So you got to use a mirror to see behind you, you know. So that's, I thought that was interesting. We had those on our spacesuits as well. Um, and what else? Um, there's just some different hoses and connection points. Um, and then this side, there is a wristwatch. That's the first watch in outer space. I thought that was interesting. Um, yeah. Is that similar to the watch you're wearing? Kind of. I mean, 
Yes well, and no. Oh, it can tell know. time. It can tell time. <laughs> it's made in Russia, so yeah. So Your watch is made in Russia. It was. This is a Bo yeah. This is a Vostok watch as well. Get out. So it's of named here. after this, you know, era of rockets. And it's pure coincidence you're wearing this pure watch today. Pure coincidence. Pure coincidence. Yeah, exactly. Um, what else? Um, yeah, that's the figure with the cool helmet printing. We oh had, yeah. We had not done that before. Um, yeah. We had to make like a new template just to print it in the right spot. And then there's a simulated texture on the minifigure, kind of just showing off that crinkled up fabric. So it's a, it, it was a relatively simple, um, a visually appearing, visually wise, simple spacesuit. If you compare it to the to the uh, its American counterpart, like ours was just way more complicated, <laughs> like looking, anyways. So, but they, you know, they they did the same function. So. Uh, what else? I really liked the truss structure that you had up here. I thought that was a cool. Yeah, I uh, I definitely wanted to show off the separation of the two. Mm -hmm. I could have made it stronger, running an axle, you know, but it's pretty strong. Uh, Very, it's still swooshable, so we're good. It is swooshable. We're good. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely showing that separation right. uh, was cool, and putting this wheel over here so that these arms could grab it. Right. Um, that was a, a build feature, but with the playability in mind. Sure, sure. Keep that in there. Um, I see you have this dark gray and white color scheme. Maybe you want to talk about that? Sure. So some of the uh, the rockets, like if they were going to actually just send them, they just had them painted uh, gray. Mm -hmm. um, if they're for display, they'd be probably be a straight white, mm -hmm. and they have some of them displayed, um, like in the. Russian National Museum. Um, but when it would be something like this, you'd, the white uh, would actually be the, uh, when they fueled up the rockets, it was the, like hyper -cooled, the right? frost on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that would be that frost, and when it would take off, you'd see these right. bits and pieces of chunks of snow coming off. Um, that's what that would be. Cool. So that's, that's a cool feature, you know, research that we were doing to try and figure out what, what are these different colors and stuff. Right. Exactly. Cool. Obviously, a um, really beautiful model. Um, yeah. Cool, cool display piece for your for your office. Absolutely. Uh, or wherever. Yeah. So. First Russian one, I think. Um, one thing we should mention that this is one tenth scale, or what'd you say? One one tenth. One one tenth. To one -tenth, match yeah. our our scale of one one tenth matches Lego scale. Right. They they did the Saturn V rocket, which is right. tallest. At the, at the real rocket, still the biggest to this day. Yeah. Um, but our other rockets, like the Mercury Atlas VI that we did, is also one one tenth scale, which is smaller than this, but it's still the same scale. You put these up compared next right. to the Saturn, they're going to look smaller, but it's uh, it's the same scale. Right. So it's cool. And if we did any other rockets, which stay tuned. There we go. Um, yeah, cool. they'll, they'll all be. Um, Working their way. Yeah, up, it's I cool guess. to see the whole spread of all the different rockets that we have. So, yeah, cool. All right, that is the episode. For more information, check out brickmania.com. Thank you very much for watching.